You know, to me, a teacher is great when he keeps always turning the mind of his devotees Godward. He never, like so many small teachers that I do see, he never holds them around his feet. That is not his way. He is not interested <coughs> in worship. He has brought, he has, his mission is to turn people's minds toward God. Love God, not me. Look to him, not me. And so it was with Guruji. But he was such a compassionate, kind, understanding, divine individual whom we always saw talking with God that you couldn't help but want to be near him all the time. And I developed that habit after many, many years. I wanted to be around him all the time. But I saw that as often as I was around him, serving, so often he pushed me away. That bothered me. Why? Why? I have such devotion for him, not adoration, devotion. I feel inspired. It reminds me of God when I am around. Why push me away? One day he scolded me severely in Encinitas. He was writing his autobiography of a yogi. And Ananda Ma and I had been busy hours typing his manuscripts. One day he scolded me severely and I said, now, there is something for me to learn out of this. And I went up on the hill overlooking the ocean and there is one palm tree just beyond the swimming pool up there. And I said to myself, I will not, I remembered what the Lord, what Buddha said, beneath this banyan bow, I take this sacred vow, let derma bones body dissolve until the mystery of life I solve. From beneath this tree, I shall never be free. Well, I had that determination. And so I sat there and I prayed and I meditated and I asked God for understanding because I knew I had to learn something from this. And suddenly it came to me. He does not want you all, you disciples, to lose your devotion in him at his feet. He has come here to turn your minds all Godward, not toward him. He does not want your worship. He does not want that which belongs to God. Oh, I bowed down before Divine Mother for that answer. It was one o'clock in the morning when I started back from my meditation toward the hermitage. And as I started in the door, Gyanamata was coming out. And she said, oh, there you are, dear. Master wants to see you. Can you imagine? And I went. He was still in his study. I looked at him and I just went and touched his feet. He touched me on the forehead and he said, now you understand. It was the greatest lesson. He was truly a divine teacher.